museums tell their stories with artifacts. And our artifacts are specific to the story that we are telling, which is about 9-11. So on the one hand, we have monumental scale artifacts, the remnants of the steel that was part of the structure of the World Trade Center. And these are really, really big artifacts. The other is the intensely personal nature of some of the um, the, the smaller artifacts, the intimate artifacts, the personal effects items that family members of some of the people killed have entrusted to us. And there's no media installation, there's no storytelling or program that we can put on that is more powerful than an artifact that represents people. And whether it's someone who was lost that day or a first responder that rushed into the building or a survivor who escaped, this museum's power is derived from the artifacts that we house. He was a very humble man, but from what I hear, everyone wanted to work with him or be just like him. And he would, he would lead his guys, you know. He would definitely be there. And he saved a lot of people wearing that helmet. <laughs> and he, just, just reminders of the, the real people that were there. They're not just a name. One day I was sitting in, in church. <laughs> And I just had like an epiphany, and I was like, if you don't write this down right now, you're gonna forget this. And for some reason, I had in my head the floor plan of, I believe it's the 77th floor is what I did for them, uh, so that they could see uh, how we got out, you know, like where the stairs were and how things were situated. Everybody died on that floor. And I was the last person to talk to him. So that floor in particular was important for me to get it right. Hmm. I'm glad I did. People forget, though, 3,000 people died. That was the greatest rescue operation ever. We got thousands of other people out that day, you know, and for them to remember the first responders, it's more important that, that the world see this than it sits in my closet for me to look at every now and then. It was actually the only thing I had left out off my uniform because the paramedics had cut my uniform up. And it was difficult for me actually to, quote, give these up, if you would. But again, I, I was hoping that you know, the significance of what it means to me would, would maybe rub off on somebody else when they saw it. You know, they could see, you know, know the expression, walk a mile in my boots. There's just no way this story could be told without actually seeing artifacts.